Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the high Isle. I'm on my Stamina Night Blade with another one-shot build with Onslaught as a one-shot ability. The 2H ultimate which ignores the resistance target by 100% so it's basically like corrosive armor. It deals between 25 to almost 30k damage. Only possible with the new mythic item Oaken Soul which gives a ton of buffs like Major Berserk, Major Courage and Major Force. Then combined with Sword Singer, which gives almost 600 weapon damage on our two-handed abilities. And the new medium armor Triceret Corruptite, which gives another 740 weapon spell damage. As filler just one by dog for extra weapon damage. I'm on seven medium armor pieces, full divines with full max stamina glyphs, we don't need light armor pieces, we are already at the penetration cap of Onslaught. That's why I put 7 medium for extra weapon damage and extra crit damage. Jewelry full infused to weapon damage. And front bar a great sword for extra weapon damage in the unhorned. Another extra weapon damage with the poison damage enchant. Skills come of Flash Tanter. For Minor Berserk and Slayer, another 3% extra weapon damage, just slotted. Same stuff with Trap Beast, just slotted for Slayer. Silver Shards, just slotted for Slayer. And Relentless Focus for the extra 10% crit damage, thanks to Hammer Rage. And then another Fighter Skill ability for the extra 3% weapon damage. As ultimate, like I said before, Onslaught. For the minor force buff, the 10% extra crit damage, I just use an add-on like Dressing Room to swap out uh, the skills. So I just pre-buff myself with Chen Exploration, press the Dressing Room button, in my case on my side mouse button, and voila, I still have the crit damage buff, but then swapped out Chen Exploration for another fighter skill ability to gain more weapon damage. That's it. I mean, for console players, just keep Chen Exploration on your bar, then you don't have to swap it out, but you will lose 3% extra weapon damage. As Ray's Orc for extra weapon spell damage, max health and stamina. Best in slot would be probably Khajiit with Dunmore. Mundus the Shadow Mundus for extra 17% crit damage. Max stamina food, the green one. And Vamp Stage 4, since I don't have Cloak or Shadow Disguise on my bar. I just use the vamp passive unnatural movement to become invisible if I sprint for 3 seconds. As potions, I use the invis potions, since I don't have shadow disguise on my bar, I would lose 3% extra weapon damage, that's why I use invis potions to get invis and to gain the guaranteed first crit hit. CPs, Master Dumps, Daddy Aim, Waffle Strikes and Backstabber, Rejuvenation, Celebrity, Boundless Vitality, and Slippery. Quick talk about the combination or the rotation. Pre-buff yourself with Chant Exploration and Relentless Focus. By the way, I also have Vigor on my bar, on my second bar, just to heal myself. And then swap back to your main bar with Dressing Room for the two Fighter's Guild abilities slotted, another 6% weapon damage. By the way, don't forget to drain your stamina before you start until 33% or less for Coral Riptide. Go in Stealth, use the Invis Potion and then use Onslaught. That's it. If the target is over 30k HP, you can build up a fully charged Heavy Tech before and then use Onslaught. Now like always with some gameplay footage with my Stamina and I played Gank one shot build. Before the video starts, don't forget to sub my channel if you like and a comment below if you want to support my channel. It would be really nice. It costs nothing, it's for free and it costs you maybe 2 or 3 seconds. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Magic's gone